Hello, I'm Alexis Cook, and this is your BG24 News online video update for Thursday, April 10th. Michigan State basketball player Adrian Payne lost someone dear to him Tuesday evening. The player had befriended 8-year-old Lacey Holsworth during his basketball career. They met at the hospital during one of her stays. Lacey had cancer, but that never stopped her from having a smile on her face. Payne carried her on his walk around the court senior night after winning the Big Ten tournament against Indianapolis. Her family tells the press to never let her smile fade and Lacey loved unconditionally. The bones found in the Maumee River have been confirmed to be Native American. The Lucas County coroner confirmed the remains to be from a Native American burial site. A fisherman discovered the bones just east of Perrysburg Maumee Bridge. He saw them on the edge of the water and contacted authorities. Maumee firemen and Metro Parks rangers responded to the site. After the coroner's office looked at photos of the bones, they determined their origin. The Wood County Courthouse was the home of multiple outbursts Tuesday morning. The case was for sentencing of Lucas DeZanta on the charges of felony rape and sexual battery. DeZanta and his wife disrupted the trial, saying the whole thing seemed circus-like. After being found guilty, DeZanta tried to withdraw his plea but was denied. He was then stated he then stated his desire to appeal the rulings and requested to have an attorney appointed to him. The BGS Youth Men Basketball Team is given a lot of different opportunities. Not only will they be starting in next season with a new coach, they just received a very generous donation from Bill Frack. Frack donated nearly $20 million to the fin Finley Hancock County Community Foundation. Three quarters of those donations go to the men's basketball program and the rest goes to the community needs in Hancock County. According to the athletic director, Chris Kingston, the money could pay for the flights for coaches to recruit around the U.S., improvements in the Stroh Center, and more. It seems as though we've seen the end of the sweet bitter cold. Today's temperatures are at a high of 69 degrees and a low of 38, with a 70% chance of rain later in the day. Winds will be strong at 25 to 30 miles per hour. Luckily, we'll see less rain over the weekend. Tomorrow will be a high of 64 degrees and a low of 40, with 10% chance of precipitation. Saturday will be slightly warmer with a high of 67 degrees and a low of 54, again with 10% chance of rain. Sunday has the potential for severe thunderstorms with its 40% chance of precipitation temps will be a high of 69 and a low of 51. If you need something to do, go out in the sunshine. There are plenty of home games to keep yourself busy. On Friday, women's tennis competes against Akron at 1 p.m., then baseball plays CMU at 3.05, and then men's soccer takes on Tiffin at 7. On Saturday, women's soccer plays the East Side Kickers at 12 p.m. Women's tennis competes against Buffalo at 1. Baseball will play again against CMU at 105, and the last sporting event of the weekend will be women's golf and Invitational. For the results of these and more, tune into BG24 Sports Monday at 5.30. Check out BG24 News tomorrow live at 530 on Channel 5. And as always, thank you for tuning in for your campus and community connection. I'm Alexis Cook.